Well, hi there, everybody. Welcome back to Joe Wednesdays. This is Jay Hobbs, and I'm here to talk about my week. Thanks for joining me. Um, starting off, I guess the allergy season is real in Dayton. <laughs> um, I didn't. I don't know. Fall, uh, fall's been really kicking my ass as far as allergies are concerned. Uh, I told you about last week how bad um, the just the phlegm buildup has been, and um, this whole rest of this uh, the week from last is. Uh, me trying to clear it out of my system now <laughs> um so yeah so that's been that's been really obnoxious um i i don't know that i it do, i don't sound different to myself but a, very evidently multiple people have been like are you are you sick are you feeling okay like i've been asked by multiple people now like if i'm feeling all right and it's like yeah i'm fine it's got all this phlegm <laughs> so so that's been an annoying aspect of the week um uh let's see here so I've been working out in the field a little bit, actually. I did I just did a site visit today, um, taking some photographs, because there was some stuff that we got back in the survey that, not that it wasn't, like, like doubtful that it was accurate, but it just seemed like it wasn't the whole picture. Um, and in the past, any time I've gone on a site visit, I really just haven't really known what I was doing there. Like, I remember back in my co-op, uh, way back when 10 years ago or so now like we went to a site and it was literally just this like open farm field and we walked out there to look at the farm field and it was like okay like yeah we'll put a gas well pad out here uh-huh okay there's nothing else to look okay like that's fine <laughs> like, like we're just kind of like I'm not really sure why I'm here um but clearly in the 10 years of experience I've learned a thing or two of what I'm looking for because like I got out to the site I was just kind of by myself and I immediately was like Okay, I need to go over there and look at this, and over there, over this, and oh, that looks interesting. I should check that out, and I'm um, taking site photos and all that kind of stuff. So, like, clear, clearly, I've learned a thing or two of what I'm looking for in my job. Um, I mean, it was very, it was kind of weird just because, like, this particular site's survey left off, like, a small detention basin on the, on the south side, and then on the, on the western side, there was a swale that when I looked at it, I'm like, no, this is also a detention basin. There's like an orifice plate right there that was a call down on our survey. So clearly, <laughs> clearly a little bit of things were missed that were kind of important. So, so I went back and told my boss, I'm like, yeah, no, we can't, we can't build over that. That's, that's detaining water. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, just, just kind of interesting developments on that project. And we'll, uh, we'll, I'll be interested to see how that project goes just because it's in its preliminary stages and I think a lot of stuff that's been put on the on the preliminary side of the table is not going to make it to the end. Um, let's see, I, I don't know if you can really tell over here but I'm kind of in a bit of a mini chord apocalypse. Um, I've been playing around with actually trying to record with my PS3 and recording some games so um, but I needed an adapter to connect to the system because I couldn't do a direct HDMI out of PlayStation 3 because I something about like the uh, I'm not sure if it's exactly the frame rate but like however the data comes out of the PS3 was not compatible on the opposite end for the recorder so I needed to do like the analog cable out of the PS3 and then put that up into an adapter and then that fed an HDMI into my recorder and it was like okay oh my god like there's just a lot of cords going on because <laughs> like like each adapter that i have also needs to be hooked up into the computer tower for power and then all that has to get hooked up into my monitors so that this monitor displays the playstation 3's feed and then this replays plays the recording feed and it's like <laughs> there's a lot going on but you know what i figured it out and i felt pretty good about that um yeah, so that, that, that was pretty fun, because, like, I also needed to figure out how to adjust the settings on the PS3 to output the right way, and it was like, oh my goodness. Um, but the exciting part of that is that um, I am recording Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and I'll be putting it on my channel here in the next couple weeks, hopefully. My goal is to have it all finished before Halloween, because that's the whole point of playing it, is kind of, that's kind of me and Ashley's tradition, is, is doing a, a Castlevania on, thing, or on, excuse me, on Halloween, because that's kind of the, the, for a very long time, that was only, like, that was the closest thing to a horror game that we ever played, so, so yeah, so I'll be doing that. 
Uh, so to close, to, to wrap up this Joe Wednesday, I was thinking I might talk a little bit about my 9-11 experience. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of different friends posting their kind of experiences of it uh, on Facebook and that kind of stuff with it being the 20th anniversary. I don't think that my experience was all that profound, or at least any more profound than any other uh, experience you've heard from other people you know. Um, I think if anything, it, it's it's revealed to me a little bit more about myself than anything else about the the event itself. Um, the reason I say that <clears throat> is because I honestly don't remember too many of the details of the day. Because, like, you know, you, a lot of people generally get asked, like, where, you know, do you remember where you were when you found out about it and that kind of thing. And, and I mean, I know I was at school. And I know that I was in religion class when my teacher heard the news. Um, but I also know that, you know, for, for better or for worse, um, I think the majority of the teachers that I had in middle school at the time were just kind of like, let's keep business going on as usual. And, you know, at least generally appear that nothing is wrong, even though something is very much wrong. Um... And, like, I, I used to think that was the wrong decision when I was kind of in my teens, because uh, I would have rather have known. But at the same, like, I think now that I'm a little older as a parent, I can kind of look back as, like, there was there was no right decision on how to handle that. I mean, like, like, there wasn't a right or wrong way to do that. It was just make a decision and go with it and make it through the day. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, I, I remember that, like, I remember my principal coming into the room and talking to my religion teacher and then I remember our religion teacher asking us to stand up and she kind of started saying a prayer for the class um pardon me and honestly I I wasn't sure if I wasn't like quite hearing her or like I it just it wasn't clear to me what she was talking about um and then it, it wasn't until I got to my history class where I found out oh something was actually like happening because my history teacher just had one of those, you know, TV, you know, pulling on the tray monitor things. Um, he just had the TV running with the news. And he was like, I think the only thing he really said to us was, there's nothing I can really teach you today because history is like happening right in front of us or something like that. And then he just went back to watching the news. Um, and... Like, all of that factually is, those are really the only real big things that I remember. I Honestly, I don't even remember if I talked about it with my parents once I got home. I don't remember if they told me anything. I don't remember what I, um, if I saw anything more on the news once I was home or anything like that. Um, so yeah, like, like I said, it's, it's actually, it's kind of, it's kind of boring and maybe for some a little like disappointing, like how could you not remember that day? Like it was a big deal. And, um, and I think as I kind of had mentioned at the beginning of me talking about it, I think it's, it's, it's kind of me re understanding a little more of how I'm actually remembering stuff. Cause I think I've probably said before on here even that, um, I'm a little frustrated and disappointed in myself for how little I remember of my childhood. Like, like, like the facts of like what I did, what happened, when, with who, all this kind of stuff. Um, it's very disappointing to me that I forget so much. But I think I'm kind of realizing about myself, like, like I, I've always known I've been a very empathetic person. But I think how that impacts my memory is something that I've been unaware of until like now thinking about this stuff. Cause I know that I, you know, like back to the day, I remember my principal coming in the room and I remember my, my religion teacher like talking with him and I don't remember what was said, but I remember feeling their responses. I was like, there's like, like it was, it was really disorienting for me as a child because like, you know, obviously like I, I don't think I would have been able to understand the magnitude of what they were feeling in those moments, the way an adult could have comprehended what was going on. But I know I could feel what they were feeling. 
and the you know the rest of the day any of the adults that were uh, you know aware of what was going on and then obviously like aware of that they were to keep us safe and and all that kind of stuff like i i remember i remember feeling the disarray and the uncertainty and or the uncertainty i don't know i can't talk but um you know i i remember i remember all those feelings and and i think the fact that i think i was just getting so overwhelmed with like new feelings of other people's that I wasn't necessarily comprehending the facts of what was going on. Um, so, but, but I think that kind of made me kind of look with a little bit of a different light on my past. And like, I wonder if there are things that I don't re necessarily remember the facts of, but I definitely remember the feelings of. And I think I'm going to try to hold on to that and, and see what it reveals. Um, and we'll go from there. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, cause I mean, like we saw the world change so much around us, but I don't like, like I say, I, I struggle to find anything to say that's like factually profound that you haven't already heard from somebody else. And, um, and honestly, like, as I really wanted to talk about the beginning of that and this, and I don't really know how to close it. <laughs> so I've kind, of, I've kind of run myself up that creek to the end of it. Um, I've kind of gotten to the end of what I wanted to say, but I don't know how to necessarily wrap this up with a bow and move on. Um, so, so sorry if you're listening to that and you're kind of hoping for something to wrap it up a little bit better, but I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have anything for you. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to ungracefully cut myself off. Hope you guys are having a good week. Love to hear from you if you want to leave some comments for me. Um, until then, take care and we'll see you next time. <clears throat> Pardon me a second. Well, okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Click here if you want to watch the last Joe Wednesday video, and click here if you want to see some of the games that I've played so far. Hopefully soon we'll see some new ones, though. Take care.